All right, we've got a drone video for Tract 15 at the Devil's Backbone Project. You can see the little vehicle there, Jeep, uh, parked on the easement road. We're facing east, looking at the property. Uh, we're actually probably over the National Forest as we look east of the property. You can see the private driveway on the property that goes um, easterly. So this property borders that easement road along its entire west side. Uh, and you can see the easement road a little bit at the bottom of the screen. That bump out in the road toward the left is sort of a cul-de-sac turnaround at the end of the easement road. Um, this is um, one of the last tracks on the road, so very, very private. Uh, entire west side borders the easement road, and directly across the easement road, you've got the Mark Twain National Forest. Tens of thousands of acres of uh, land that you can use for hunting and camping and fishing and hiking and swimming and all kinds of recreation. Uh, going easterly, we kind of skipped over the driveway, but you can see um, the cleared site on the property, which is really cool to have an existing private driveway and cleared site. I believe that site is going to be not quite to the center of the property, but it is set back several hundred feet off the road, so very, very private. Uh, the private driveway itself um, was probably created with, with one of those mulchers that you see sometimes on the front of a skid loader. Uh, so use caution when you're driving that because they do a pretty good job, but they do leave some some nubs sticking up and that can be really rough on your tires uh, unless you have uh, Eight or ten ply tires on your truck and a lot of trucks do but uh, Just something to be aware of heavily wooded property. I mean a lot of a beautiful timber on this track nice mixture of timber uh, probably mostly hardwoods with a few pine trees in the drone video you'll see these different trails uh, Actually, that, you can see a pond at the top of the screen. That is just off the property. So we're looking at tract 15. That pond is on tract 14. But um, the fact that uh, there's a pond nearby not only brings in the wildlife right to this area, um, but it means the ground is probably uh, very suitable if you wanted to do a pond. Uh, looking easterly. So what I was mentioning earlier, you, you'll see different trails and whatnot. Uh, in the drone video when you're when you're looking at, at everything from the sky uh, there were existing trails uh, many existing trails uh, at the devil's backbone uh, before it was split up and um, because it, it was just used for hunting for probably for generations uh, so those trails um, are not easements for others to cross your property the the easement road on the west side will be the only uh, um, easement <laughs> for others to uh, to come and go so yeah the the road systems but but the existing trails just like any large tract uh, there there are always trails that people have used um, if it was owned by one person and, or one family and that was the case here so uh, just because they're on the property uh, does not mean someone else can can use them to cross your property so within a couple years um, those will probably grow up and not even really be visible unless you maintain the portion that's on your property of course if you wanted to do that so good size tract, uh, it is surveyed with the corners marked. Um, obviously the biggest bonus is the National Forest frontage. That is just virtually impossible to find something with direct frontage uh, on the Mark Twain National Forest. Uh, you, I mean, you can use it almost like it's your own uh, backyard. Uh, you can go straight in there, um, hunt and, and hike and explore. Uh, and it's just almost an endless, <laughs> endless, um, source of, of uh, additional land for you that you never have to uh, do anything with. You just use it when you want and when you don't you can be on your own private acreage um, with maybe a home or a cabin or, or a campsite but uh, for hunting, for camping, for recreation a lot of people think a property uh, like this is ideal. Uh, extremely hard to find a track like this. We're excited to have it. It's track 15 at the Devil's Backbone Project. Uh, close to West Plains, Missouri. We're looking northerly there at the end, um, but beautiful property, extremely private. Check out the ground video as well. Um, check out the topo map. This property lays more nicely than uh, the majority of other tracts, um, not only in the Devil's Backbone, but in this area. Um, mostly level, slopes up gradually and gently from the road, levels off in the middle, and then the far east side starts to slope down gradually and gently. So. Uh, the entire tract is essentially usable as far as uh, as the ground goes, as far as the levelness. Uh, but, oh, ran out of video. If you have any questions, just let us know. That's tract 15 at the Devil's Backbone.